So the University of Miami adopted the American White Ibis as its official athletics mascot in 1926. The mascot was initially known as Ibis before adopting the name Sebastian in 1957. It was named Sebastian after the San Sebastian Hall, a resident hall on campus which sponsored an Ibis entry in the college's homecoming celebration. Hmm, so that's kind of interesting. So the white Ibis, you know, the actual bird, not the mascot, Sebastian. Um, the actual white Ibis range is co the, co uh, the coastal southeast of the U.S. They flock in groups, fly in groups, and nest in colonies. You'll often see them going together and foraging together, flying together. Um, you don't always see just one by themselves. And if you do, there's probably some more close by. So they walk slowly through wetlands, probing for prey in muddy bottoms or picking prey off the surface. They like to use their bill as something like a tweezer, pulling out crayfish, earthworms, marine worms, and crabs. They also stab or pinch fish frogs, lizards, snails, and newts. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> Many of their prey are swallowed on the spot, but for the really muddy prey, they carry them away and wash the mud off before eating them. Hmm, so they don't want to eat the mud. That would be kind of gross. So, um, <clears throat> in order to break harder crustaceans with their bills, they'll remove the claws from the crabs and the crayfish before eating them. Oh my goodness, kind of like when we eat them, right? <laughs> they take off the shells. Um, they're opportunistic feeders, so they will go where food is plentiful. So you'll often see them in parking lots, foraging, or just anywhere around. I, I just, I see them anywhere, foraging and just eating food, eating whatever's left over. So it's been said that as the clouds become dark and a hurricane approaches, folklore maintains that the other birds look to the ibis for leadership. The ibis uses its instinct to detect danger, and it is a last sign of wildlife to take shelter before a hurricane hits, giving warning that the danger is imminent. As the storm passes, the ibis is the first to reappear, a sign that clear skies are approaching. So that is what the legend says. This folklore comes from Native Americans. But is there any truth to this folklore? So let's see what the scientists say. So according to Carl Birch, the lead supervisor at the bird department at the zoo at zoo miami he says that it is possible they're usually the first to come back from a hurricane and birch says because now there are resources that they can use if they can go uh, if they can they will come back it's because you know they're opportunistic william searcy the maytag professor of ornithology at the university of miami disagrees he says many birds just stay in place when a hurricane hits so he's opposed to agreeing with the legend. <laughs> um, according to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, legend has it that the white ibis has a heroic ability to stand up to hurricanes, but they don't have any science backing that. So what do you think? Do you think it's true? Or do you think it's just folklore? Well, here we have it. Here's what Audubon.org says, according to science. So apparently the students from the University of Miami learned from the folklore that the white ibis is known for its bravery as a hurricane approaches and uses its instinct to detect danger. Being the last of the wildlife to take shelter when a storm hits and the first when it's over. Well, unfortunately, it was found that the white ibis is not any better or worse than any other species at protecting themselves from a hurricane. And the most and they most definitely aren't a bird that other birds look to for leadership. There you have it, folks, according to science. 
but it's still fun to wonder and for the Miami U fans out there, I'm pretty sure that the legend will still live on. So if you've ever heard of this before, let me know what you think in the comments or if you thought it was true or if you thought it was false, let me know. If there's anything else you want to know about the White Ibis, comment below. Um, or if you want a longer video about habits of the White Ibis, just let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And happy birding. Thanks.